Hello speechy friends, it's Lisa again from the Speech Fairies and I'm bringing you one of my favorite books called Trouble Troubles with Bubbles. I always say trouble with bubbles but it's actually plural. Troubles with bubbles. So this book is from a company called Pokeweed. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. It could be Pokeweed or Pokeweed. Um, I'll link below the website. I think it's just pokeweed.com. Um, but other books that I've seen from these guys are from the Pokeweed Press, they call it. And I like this activity for my zoo animal vocabulary, as well as um, some of that early literacy with lots of rhyme and repetition. So I like to do that with my preschoolers. And I like to make it fun. So instead of just reading a book, We've got some props as well to share. So over here I have um, the animals from the book and a Barbie tub. So I have been collecting um, at the thrift stores some of the Thai Beanie Babies from McDonald's as well as I believe the elephant and the rhino are also from McDonald's. But I'm not really sure where I got the monkey. He's probably just a little friend from a zoo store or something. I haven't yet found a small ostrich. I have the large size ostrich in the tub there. The regular um, Thai beanie baby size. Um, but the rest are the teeny ones. Because again, I like to bring things that are portable. And um, especially if you're on the, on the road doing your sessions. So... Um, Trouble with Bubbles is just a cute little rhyming book and really cute, cute, cute illustrations and it's nice and repetitive. So it's I am dirty and I want to be clean. So nice concepts. And then the lady, she, work on that as well, will give him the go to the tub and scrub with soap and water. So it's really nice and repetitive and then the next animals come and they are dirty and they want to be clean. And it's nice for um, those they as well. So if you're using they for animals for pronouns. And then she says, go to the tub and scrub with soap and water. And we'll start to see some bubbles coming into the picture as well. So if you're working on bilabels, bilabials, you can do that as well. Then we've got some more animals. And it's very, very repetitive, which I like. And the animals are just so hilariously cute. You can see them there and they're all dirty and they want to be clean so they have to go to the tub and scrub so lots of nice rhyme and repetition and then at the end they're all in the tub and she says you've used too much soap um, please give us some more water and then they get a nice spray and then they get all clean so it's a really cute little book there's some information if you want to try to find one and again we use the props during the story time um, just to keep them engaged a little bit at circle time or at table time, wherever you are. And then we can retell the story again. So you can do it as many times as you want and kids are pretty engaged with it. So uh, I just put the other books in the collection in the background to show you that there's lots of really cute ones, same characters, and there's... Um, Lots of really cute ones. So there's Peekaboo at the Zoo. The Zookeeper Sleepers is a good one with some funny, funny vocab in it. Uh, is the spaghetti ready? And on the other end, it's a bit shadowy, but it's called New at the Zoo. So when you have a new friend and how you treat that new friend. Again, there's another one I think I might have somewhere. I just don't have them here. Snug as a bug. A big red bug and the night down countdown is also nightgown countdown is a good one and the crowded ride in the countryside is also good so there's lots of really nice books in this series again it's pokeweed.com and there sometimes you can find them at off price stores or the um, at the thrift stores so I got most of these stuffed creatures and the Barbie bathtub at the value village here in Ontario Canada and um, probably some of the books as well. So the books are 99 cents there. So it's worth digging through and finding some little treasures. But anyway, 
I just wanted to share those items with you and if you have any other ideas that you would use any of these materials for, please comment below so that everybody uh, watching these videos can benefit. Thanks to everybody so far that's subscribed. It's amazing. I've had so many subscribers already. I'm so happy. I've only been doing this for a week. Um, Easter is coming. I want to get into my Easter toys and books to share as well. Um, I've got to get them from storage, so that's the plan for this weekend. And I hope to put up more content every single day um, to share with everybody out there, parents and other clinicians that are working on speech and language, because the best way to get um, results is to have fun. So anyway, um, I hope to see you very soon. And thanks again for all your likes and comments and subscriptions, and I will see you next time. Bye!